Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to use our Autumn Foliage Action. You guys, this action is amazing. It has all the autumn tones you could want with different adjustments in just one area. It has saved me so much time. Let's face it, we've all been there. We've had a client that wants those beautiful fall tones, but the summer greens are still coming in super strong. Uh, so this action helps solve all of the problems, guys. I just love it. So the first thing we um, do is open our image into Photoshop. And as you can see, these greens are intense. Summer is still hanging in there, but her outfit is more um, fall inspired. So I wanted to just give this image a makeover and add some of those beautiful autumn tones in there. So the first thing you wanna do is play the autumn foliage action. And the reason why I already did that, guys, is to save a little bit time for this tutorial. I already did a mask, as you can see there, uh, but I'm gonna show you how to do it and then that will just save us some time. So what you're gonna wanna do is have a soft white brush at 100% opacity. And like all of my other actions, guys, it is gonna come on pretty strong, but I like to see where I'm painting, so um, we always adjust it after. So. As you can see, there are five different tone bases. Once you um, decide what base you want, you can open them up and make changes to them, um, adjust opacities and all of that fun stuff. So if you're really not sure which tone you wanna start with, what I normally do is I'll click on the layer mask and as you see, it is a black um, layer mask. So you'll use a soft white brush at 100% opacity to paint it on. Or if you just kind of want a sneak peek of what it's going to do, you can hit Command I and that will invert it and it will cover the entire area. And from then you can kind of like adjust the opacity um, and see how you like it. So I'm putting it back onto the, um, the black mask and again, I don't know why that's not saying it 100% but you'll use the soft white brush and paint it to your liking. Now this works really well if you just have um, a few trees that you wanna hit, or in this situation, you cannot leave the grass that bright green. You can't have autumn um, colored you know, trees and then like this lime green, it's just not gonna work out well. So anyway, like I said, to save us some time, I already created a mask here and it's really nice because once you have one good mask, you're going to want to get in all of, um, zoom in close and make sure it doesn't get on her too thick um, along the edges. Uh, but I do recommend taking the soft white brush at a lower opacity and painting it on your subject a little bit or you are going to still have a little bit of the green cast and it's not going to blend very well to the background. Okay, so we're going to back it up here and make that all black again. And I'm going to turn on the layer mask or the, yeah, the layer that I already masked off. And as you can see, this is at 100% opacity, but you can adjust it and have it on as strong or as little as you would like. So I am going to open that up. And in each layer tone, you have a couple different adjustments that you can also lower the opacity and change the tones there. So you can fiddle around and just see what you like. For me, I'm gonna leave those at 100% opacity. And if you wanna try out any of the other tones and maybe even combine them, I'll show you a trick. I like to hold down the option button and then drag the mask, hit replace mask. And all these are gonna be really strong at first because I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of the tones right now. So you don't have to keep repeating the mask. It's all done for you. Drag, drag. I just wanna show you some more of the other tones. Okay, so we'll turn these off. And again, each tone you can play around with. So that's the first one, or one of them. Here's another one. There's more red tones. Lower the opacity, turn it up. Whatever shade you like. Uh, I believe this is a yellow tone. Again, same thing. You can have so much fun with these guys. Orange. And I always like to just kind of start with the zero after I painted it on and see where my eye likes it. And then I'll stop where I like it. 
And then this one is kind of like a pinkish red tone. I thought it would be fun to just include. Um, so different layers. And again, you can open them up and make different adjustments that you like. Also, we have these fun tone adjustments. So if you want like matte uh, finish or, you know, more contrast, brighten, darken, color dazzle will brighten it up and tone it down will knock um, some of the color out. And you can also drag the mask. So let me show you how that will work. Again, grab the option and we'll tone it down a little bit. And now you went from like this orangey red to this rich um, brown autumn tone. Uh, so you want to darken it a little bit. Again, you'll just option and drag onto the darken. And it toned it down even more. So it really is just your preference, guys. I'm not going to sit here and do them all. You can play around for yourself, but we'll just do, say you wanted a matte finish. Uh, there's your matte finish. Um, I believe I have it set at like 40 or 50% to come on strong so I can see where the mask is at. But, you know, you can play around with that as well. So anyway fun stuff. I just love this action. I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, turn these off. Doo -doo. And we're back with our, you know, autumn tones. So fun. All right. Thanks guys for watching. You can find this action at storyvillephotography.com. I hope you have a great day. Bye.